Hello and welcome to a breakfast warm-up uh, calculator foundation. So this is intended for students that are not able to attend a face-to-face -face session uh, tomorrow morning uh, with their teachers. Uh, if you are attending one, uh, this might be counterproductive. You might be doing the same one. Um, so uh, please bear that in mind. Hope you find this useful and subscribe if you like. Okay, question one. Calculate uh, 2 times 5 minus 3 squared. So this is a calculator question. So 2 times by 5 uh, times by 5 minus 3 squared gives us a value of uh, 1. So our value there is just going to be 1. Okay, question two, list the first multiples of eight, the first five multiples of eight. Uh, so we're doing uh, eight, 16, 24, uh, 32, how many do we want? Five and 40. Question three, round uh, 4.56259 to three decimal places. So to the third decimal place is a two. Uh, so we're going to round that up. So that's going to become 4.563. Okay, what type of triangle is this? So we've got uh, two equal sides, two equal angles. So that's going to be an isosceles triangle. And that's our first row. Right, row two. Okay, question five. Right, uh, 0.23 as a fraction. So I'm going to use my calculator to do the work for this. Uh, so 0 0.23, and if I press equals, my calculator will automatically convert it to 23 out of 100. Okay, question six. Find the mode from this set of data. So the mode is the one that happens the most. Uh, so looking at the set of data, uh, we've got three sixes. So I'm going to go that six is the mode. Question seven. There are 900 students in a school of which 20% are in year 11. How many students are in year 11? So I want 20% of 900. Um, so I'm going to do it. 20% uh, is... Well, I'm going to go 20 times by 900 divided by 100. So that's going to become 20 times by, actually, let's put that over. Let's put it as a fraction to start with. So 20 times by 900 divided by 100. So that gives me 180. Uh, question 8, find the value of y when x is equal to 5. So I'm looking at y is equal to 2 times by 5 squared. 2 times by 5 squared gives me the value of 50. Okay, question 9. So uh, work at minus 4, 4 squared. So if we type this into our calculator, we need to make sure that we put the minus 4 into a bracket. So that's going to be 16. Question 10, solve. So x divided by 10 is equal to 80. So x is going to be equal to uh, 8 times by 10. So 80. <coughs> okay, question 11. Convert 270 minutes into hours. So I'm going to use the time function on my calculator. 0, time function, 270, time function. So that's typing in zero hours and 270 minutes, and it tells us that's equal to four hours and 30 minutes. So that's a decimal. Uh, we're looking at 4.5 hours. <coughs> and question 12, um, find the volume of this cuboid. So we've got all values in meters. So um, all we're going to do is eight times by 10 times by five to find the volume. So we're looking at 400 meters squared, or even as it's a volume, meters cubed. Okay, question 13, write down the first five square numbers. Okay, the first five square numbers are gonna be one squared, which would be one, two squared, which would be four, three squared, which would be nine, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. 
Okay, question 14 expands. So 3 times by 5x would give us 15x. And then 3 times by minus 2 would give us minus 60. Right, 15, solve. So we're going to add 8 onto both sides. That would give us 4x is equal to 20. And then divide both sides by 4. That would give us x is equal to 5. And question 16, uh, calculate, giving your answer to three decimal places. So I'm going to type this on my calculator. So fraction button, the square root of 100, uh, sorry, 15.6 divided by 180 minus 5.9 all squared. So giving our answer to three decimal places, that's going to be 0 0.027. Okay, question 17, simplify. So I'm going to collect my x terms together. So that's going to be 3x and then my y's. I'm going to circle, including the, uh, the operator in front of them. So 2y minus y would be y. Question six, uh, 18, find 30% of 8 pounds. So I'm going to say that's uh, 30 times by 8 divided by 100. So that's going to be... 30 times by 8 divided by 100. So I'm looking at uh, 2.4 or £2.40. Question 19. What is the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral? So that's going to be, uh, well, if you don't know this off by heart, uh, it should be 180 times by n minus 2. So we've got two sides, so it's going to be 180 times by 2, which is going to give us 360 degrees. And then finally, on this page, uh, in a cell, the DVD player was reduced from £160 to £134. What is this uh, percentage reduction? So we're going to do uh, 160 minus 136 divided by the original amount, which was 160 times by 100. So that's going to give us 160 minus 136. That's going to give us the amount that it's been reduced by, divided by the original amount, times by 100. So that gives us 15% reduction. <coughs> okay, and that brings us to the end. So that's our 20 question foundation calculator warm-up i hope you found that useful um heading into your exams uh, the very best of luck today uh, i'm sure you will be able to smash it uh, remember take your time with these questions read them fully uh, double check your answers uh, rely on your calculator um uh, and uh, please uh, if you like please do subscribe